guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki Manny Photography and Orms blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I'm going to talk again about basics and tools part 5. If you haven't seen the rest of the tools or the first parts please fall back in the tutorials or on the blogs and view 1, 2, 3 and 4. We covered a pretty much a lot about these tools already so in today's tutorial I'm going to cover again about some tools and basics. Pretty much it's going to be about the clone stamp tool today, pattern stamp tool, then history brush and artistic history brush. Alright, so, so let's get started and let's get right into it. Okay, so what I did, I created original layer again. I'm just going to make this minimize this a little bit. Now I'm going to duplicate that via command J and we're going to rename that to retouch. So on this retouch layer, I'm pretty much going to show you guys now the first few tools like this clone stamp tool. Alright, so the clone, clone stamp tool pretty much on this retouch layer, I don't really have any pimples now on my model, so I would have to create some pimples quickly. Pretty much what I mostly do with the clone stamp tool is just I clone out some pimples or I would clone exactly the same area to just duplicate or copy that a little bit. At the top here, as you guys can see already, we have already some presets again. Then you've got your brush size. We've got another brush set for just that cloning. You've got another clone set. You've got the blending modes again, which is set to normal, opacity, flow, and align samples, and current layer. Yes, we want to work on the current layer, not current below or all layers. I mostly work on current current layer and I mostly keep my settings to these maybe change my blending modes or my opacity sometimes or I would work with a different brush but otherwise I pretty much work straightforward with this tool and just like I work today okay so currently I don't have any spots on my model so what I want to do quickly is just create another new layer and on this layer I'm going to select my brush with B and quickly normal opacity over here opacity 100 normal blending mode I want to pretty much just create some black spots on the girl so let me just go on her cheeky one there, one there, maybe even on her lips down here, um, maybe over here where it's a little bit difficult in the corners, and then say maybe in the hair a little bit over here, somewhere there, a little bit on the hair, we've got a pimple, and yeah, let's get started. Pretty much what I'll do now is just take my clone stamp tool over here, then I would zoom in very, very closely so I really see what I'm doing, and I think I covered the clone stamp tool a little bit in the previous tutorials or in the last tutorials. What I'm basically do is just, I'm working with a Vacuum Continuous 4 board by the way, I can change my brush size really quickly with my wheel here. For those who don't have it, please go up here to the top and select your brush size over there. Mostly what I do is take my hardness around to 60%, 65%, that's good to me. Okay, and then on my current layer, okay, I can't really uh, Photoshop on that current layer, so what I will still have to do is just merge these two layers. Okay, merge that, and we're going to rename that quick to retouch, so we were very constructive, and if we do a mistake, we can always fall back. Okay, on the retouch layer, pretty much, just hold Alt and sample an area, and then clone over, the, over your pimple, or whatever you want to remove. Now, just bear in mind, when you do that, when you do the cloning, don't clone from an area that is far away, or looks different, and has different patterns or textures, because that will just be seen. So, if, say for instance, if I clone from down here, and clone that, you will directly see that you clone these dark uh, pixels over here and they don't really blend in with that and it won't look nice at all. Also another trick by the side here, I mostly work with clone stamp tool and healing brush tool together so I would clone a little bit and then heal over it just so it blends in nicely. Okay, just gonna say command Z quickly just to go back there. What I mostly do if I just work with the cloning stamp tool, just very close to your area, sample the area over here, press Alt and sample that and then very slowly paint over here and clone that a little bit. Like I said now before, then go switch back to healing brush tool with J just hold alt again, sample the same area and with small streaks over there, paint over there and then you've cloned it and healed it very very nicely. Okay, back with S and we're back in the clone stamp tool and now for this, this is a bit harder, if you do this with the healing brush tool it will smudge a little bit and look uh, very blurry and fake. So what I mostly do is just take the cloning stamp tool and then very closely again, zoom in a little bit this picture isn't super high quality today, so normally it would be super high quality and you can see all the pimples and everything, then you can work very nicely. But for now that should work actually. Okay, hold Alt and what I do is go directly into these dark corners here and select some of these dark pixels here and then just very slowly with the flow paint over this. Okay, still on my retouch layer, yes, got my cloning stamp too, okay, a little bit higher, and I'm going to clone over there again, and a little bit, just a little bit, and then over here, I would clone a little bit down from the top side maybe, just fall back, I wouldn't 
clone into these directions I would rather go with the flow like the lines and then just clone into that direction keep the pattern and the textures in the same direction so it will look nice afterwards so as you guys can see it's okay there let's zoom in a little bit into the nose here the same applies to that I would also just select an area very close again on the white pixels as you guys can see it fades or it gradients a little bit from the white into these other pixels so I would rather go to the whites here and just sample that very closely and a little bit and then pretty much here on the cheek as you guys can see we've also got a lot of patterns and textures so I want to actually clone just these patterns and textures and really keep it close like I said before Tag your area or sample the area from here and then very slowly paint over this. Now we can actually see a little bit that it has been cloned so I'll switch back with J to my healing brush. Select the area again and then very slowly with small streaks paint over here and just heal it a little bit. That's all that I would do. Okay, press S again, go back to cloning tool and then zoom out. Obviously those pimples weren't there, we created them so I can't really show you before and after but that's not mostly my technique that I use with this. Then also down here with the hair. Then again, like I said before, very close, zoom very, very close, sample an area very close to that again and sample over here and just paint it in very carefully. Maybe onto the hair even and then try to get these hairs in and very slowly clone that. Take the healing brush and fix that again. One more step that I still wanted to show you guys, sometimes I use the clone stamp tool to copy an area or to sample an area totally so like I can complete some walls or that I can clone something just in. So what I would do then is pretty much just select an area on a corner and then f work from a corner to a corner. So say for instance from this image I would like to clone a little bit of this arm, say a little bit of this section down here, just the arm length. So what I would do is start over here from this corner, go all the way up to the bone here and stop there. Pretty much how I would do that is take my clone tool, clone tool again over here, make my brush size really big because I want to clone a whole long pattern and a whole nice texture over there. So hold alt, select the area right on the corner over here and then go over here. So I just want to clone over here quickly. I'm not looking at my brush currently, I'm just looking on the small plus that is appearing there and then just working with that small plus and exactly trying to copy just that with the small plus. Okay, until to there and then I've got that ready, paint that out a little bit and down again and I'm not dropping the mouse, I'm just going on consistently with this flow. Okay, until there and then I've got a nice cloned area and I cloned it very, very nicely from the hand. Okay, then one more step that I would do is maybe take my eraser or take my pen tool and then just cut out the rest or cut that out which I actually wanted to. You can also feather your brush again or your cloning tool and then you would have a really hard edge, whatever you want to do with that. Pretty much this is just the normal way how I work with the cloning stamp tool and yes, let's get on to the next pattern stamp tool. Pattern stamp tool, as you guys can see here in the top again, our whole application bar changed again, pretty much your brush size, your... Uh, clone stamp set you can choose different clone nips then your mode blending options uh, opacity flow and here this is pretty nice you've got a whole new gallery of textures or patterns if you go tap the small button over here you can go all the way down if you want you can say firstly you can just say text only or if you want to have small thumbnails large thumbnails in here I mostly keep it to small thumbnails then if you want you can load patterns or you can save even new patterns if you created that you can replace it whatever play a bit with this and see what's good for you guys then over here that's pretty nice actually you've got a few presets already so have a look under here I mostly selected artistic surface just gonna say okay apply that and now you've pretty much got some new textures in here now how I work with them I would just select a random one this one maybe it looks nice so I'm just gonna close this again okay how I mostly work with this let me just uh, delete oh no don't worry I'll work directly on the retouch layer Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and now what this nice thing is that it actually clones exactly the pattern so you can just paint very very wild again with your brush over here just go nuts and paint like you want to as you guys can see it's currently sampling exactly the same areas and it's creating a nice flow and the same patterns all the way through okay you can even up uh, make your brush size bigger or smaller whatever goes for you and whatever works for you now this is one way how I work with this I mostly I just want to go back here my history channel to clone stamps so we fresh from the start what I mostly do when I work with this tool I directly go into the blending options and then turn it to soft light or overlay and then I directly paint and you can see already it already applies to all the background and it looks a little bit nicer 
So play a little bit with this, and if this works for you, then you can create new backgrounds with that, or I don't know, sample some new stuff in. Okay, and now to just one more thing. If you, as you guys can see, when I do one streak, I'm not dropping the mouse. I'm just painting with one consistent flow. Just have a look. If I paint over it again, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. The effect is coming through more and more. This is because you're working on different blending options here. So if you work on normal, you can go nuts. It will always be the same. Just if you work on bl different blending options, it will uh, fade through and will be visible more and more. Alright, so let's get back to the next tool, which is the History Brush tool, which is a very awesome tool. You can pretty much just with the History Brush tool paint over your area and will erase everything you did in that corner or that section. So say for instance we did the cloning over here and now with the clone stamp pattern, we actually are able now to remove all of that. So if I'm going to brush over here, you will see that everything starts to remove, which comes in very, very handy sometimes. If you do a mistake and you can't fall back in your history panel over here, you can just take this history brush and then very easy paint over that and just take your image way back to the settings you had it at the start. So I'm going to paint very roughly over here and have a look. Everything starts to go away. This tool comes in very, very handy often and I mostly work with it, yes. Sometimes if I don't have that, I'll just go in my history panel, but if I can't ba go back far enough, then I would go fall back onto that tool. Okay, next tool would be the Art History Brush tool. If I pretty much select that, to be honest with you guys, I really never, never work with this tool. It's just very artistically, and I can't really use it in my photoshopping techniques. So at the top again, we've got a new different application bar here. You can pretty much change your blending options again, opacity, style. Style mostly works with different things. I'm going to work with tight short at the moment. Area 50 pixels, say we're going to take 10 pixels for now, and tolerance, keep it at 0%. Okay, zoom in very closely, and pretty much what this does now, it just creates a very painty effect. I'm just drawing very rough over here with my mouse actually with the pen from the vacuum tablet so just very closely over there and you create some very blurry artistic stuff so like I said before I never really work with this tool up here I just noticed you can have a different uh, style so I'm gonna say maybe dab and then over there you can just create a very blurry effect as I'll see that now then over here also loose curl so you create some curly things really really weird too to be honest, like I said, I never really work with this tool. If you're an artist and you like this tool, try it a little bit. I'll try what works for you and if this is nice. Okay, yeah, so basically that's my quick tutorial on basics and tools part 5. If you guys still have any questions, please email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za. I'm glad to help you guys with your questions. My name is Manny. Thank you guys for watching and see you all next week on another tutorial. Bye-bye. <laughs>